Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on addition. Addition is the process of combining two or more objects or groups. When we combine, we end up with a total number. After that, we can progress to the addition of numbers. The sign for addition is this sign here. It's called the plus sign or the addition sign and it just looks like a cross. Adding objects. In the diagrams we have two marbles plus three marbles, so there's your two marbles, there are your three marbles, and that equals five marbles, because we just add them up. One, two, three, four, five. When we add, we actually count the total. See, we count the total and that gives us five marbles. For the above diagrams we have one apple plus two apples, plus three apples. Now if we count those, one, two, three, four, five, six, and that gives us six apples altogether. When we use numbers in addition, we can create a number sentence. And these are examples of number sentences. Let's have a look at them. Three plus four equals seven. Now three can stand for oranges and four can stand for oranges. It can stand for marbles or apples or matchsticks or anything. So 3 plus 4 equals 7. 1 plus 5 equals 6. 2 plus 3 plus 4 equals 9. 3 plus 0 plus 2 equals 5. 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 equals 8. And 1 plus 0 plus 1 plus 0 plus 3 equals 5. So in each case, when we add the numbers on the left-hand side, we obtain the answer on the right hand side. Now in the same manner, see if you can answer these. 3 plus 2. Now just pretend these represent objects. Let's say they represent bananas. 3 bananas plus 2 bananas. So how many will that be? I don't think it's much trouble for you to understand that that would be 5 bananas. 4 marbles plus 3 marbles plus 1 marble. So when you add those together, what do you get? Eight marbles. Two spoons plus one spoon plus zero spoons. Two plus one equals three. Two plus two plus two plus one. Now you, you could do it this way. If you wanted to count by twos, you could go two, four, six, plus one is seven. There are many, many ways of doing it. 0 plus 0 plus 0, well that's definitely 0, I'm sure you know that. And 5 plus 5, 5 plus another 5, say they're the fingers on your hand and they're the other fingers, including the thumb of course. So 5 on one hand and 5 on the other hand, how many have you got in total? You have 10. Place the correct number in each box. Three apples plus how many apples gives you five apples? You definitely know that the answer there is two. Two oranges plus how many oranges give you eight oranges? No problems there. And now for the next one. How many marbles, when you add to zero, gives you nine? Well, zero, that means you have no marbles. So how many do you have to have in the box here to have nine? Well, you must have nine. For this one here, how many cats added to four cats give you eight cats? So something plus four equals eight. There we go. And what do you get when you add 1 and 9 together? So 1 plus 9. Okay, so 1 cake plus 9 cakes. How many cakes is that altogether? I'm quite certain you know that that's 10 cakes. Tick. So put a tick in each box that shows a correct number sentence. So you have to check whether they are correct. If they are, place a tick in the box. 2 plus 3 equals 5. Now if you look at that carefully, and you can use many 
many ways of working that out. You can put down two apples on the table, <coughs> excuse me, and another three apples, and then when you count all the apples, you get five apples. So that's correct. Here you can put one marble on the desk and another five, and you count them all up, and you get six. That's correct. One matchstick plus three matchsticks plus four matchsticks. When you count them all, do you get eight? Of course you do, so that's correct. And five plus four plus zero. Remember, these numbers can stand for anything. They could be apples, lollies, oranges, bananas, matchsticks. It doesn't matter. Five plus four, you can even use your fingers if you want in the first instance, but as you get a little bit older, you won't need to use your fingers. So is 5 plus 4, 9? Of course that's a zero. Of course it is. So this video has given you a, a basic introduction to addition, and we've tried to use everyday materials to explain what's going on.